What is up guys? Yeah, so today is International Women's Day. That's cool. It's a fantastic time to, you know, treat your wives, your girlfriends, all the women in your lives, your mothers, your sisters and all that. It's good. It's good. And they're saying hashtag break the, what was the hashtag again? Break the bias. That's what they're saying. That's cool. Right, that's cool. So you can treat everybody, but of course, you don't have to treat your female colleagues at work. So that is good. You don't have to buy them anything nice. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Gigi, welcome again. Thank you. So this is day two, and we're doing this together, right? Right. All right, all right. So, uh, trending stuff, let's see. What do you think of uh, Stephanie Benson? Hold on, she came out, right? This is what is trending on Twitter. It came out, and she's saying that She's 51 years old. Yeah. You know Stephanie because yeah, the singer, all right? Ghana international singer. And she's saying that uh, she went naked in front of Samini when they were doing the music video. video. Right? And she doesn't have any problem with it. You've heard about it. Yeah. So what do you think? For me, this case is wishy-washy. What do you mean? Because it's her body one. Hmm. It's her body. She has worked so hard to keep that body, even though she has what, five kids? Yeah, five kids and a husband and she's 51 years old. I think it's her body. She has every right to say I want to show it or not to show it. I mean, I haven't seen the video in question, but everybody knows that the best. I mean, she's beautiful. I won't say she's beautiful for a 51 year, years old. That would be crazy talk. So at 51, she's really beautiful, right? Five kids. I don't know how kids are gonna say about the video. How do you even take it? And I don't know about the husband. How is he even gonna take it? Well, since he's white and their culture doesn't frown upon <laughs> these things, I don't think. And he's supportive. So I've, I've, I've seen so many like of her tweets and things on social media saying how her husband supports it. So if he doesn't have a problem, what right do we have? Well, we have our opinions as well. We, but we can have yes, our opinions, of course, because she's but celebrated. But it can't go, it yeah. can't... Man, so what you're saying is white people can't get jealous, but it's always black men. I never black. said jealous. He could be jealous, but... You know these things, they... they and then she says... Uh, there's, there's a post somewhere that she said she's faithful to him. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. He's comfortable with these things, because if... I don't know, if you're faithful, anyway. she, she doesn't give him the doubt that she's going to do something. Yeah. Well, okay, fine. I don't have a problem with it. He's a buddy, she's 51 years old, she's mature enough to make decisions that she wants to take. Music videos, she wants to do whatever she wants to do. But I was just asking because, you know, I don't know how the kids are going to take Well, the it. only problem is um, the culture, our culture. The Ghanaian culture, it, it frowns on stuff like that. Babe, so, that culture thing is affecting a lot of entertainment stuff in Ghana. Listen, what she did, she didn't kill anybody. She didn't, she didn't commit any crime. She didn't call, cause any harm. She didn't. It's her body, she puts it on the line and she wants people to see it. She's saying she's had five kids, that doctors and nurses have seen her body. So so that culture thing, uh, Ghana has too, too high of a moral code. It's too high. Well, care what you're time. saying, let's leave her to her, enjoy her body and yeah. put it out there. <laughs> About her kids, I don't think um, they have a problem because if they did, they would have said, Mommy, yeah, stop right there. there. So she would have stopped, but I don't think they have a problem. But what if they are talking? We will never know. I mean, it's not like She would have mom. stopped. Her conscience will say, mm, my kids, they don't like it. Let me stop. Women appeal to their kids more. Mm -hmm. So think? yes, okay. I know. All right. So what else have you seen that's trending? What's going on in the world? I'm coming back to this. Stephanie. No, not Stephanie. Okay. The whole Independence Day. You going back to it? I'm going back. All right. To let me hear you out. I'm going back to it. Okay. So there's this news going around that 25 kids, like school children. Just fainted. <laughs> Where, did they faint? Where did they faint? Where did they faint? For their March pass. March pass is good. 
But <laughs> Uh, 25k yes 25 1 2 3 25 yeah they, they didn't feed them so that's my thing mm-hmm. the match pass thing is good is you're being patriotic and stuff but why not feed these kids mm-hmm. yeah so they need to be fed something small some cocoa early in the morning it kind of dissolves before they Go on to match because we can't have 20 25, 25. kids. I agree with you because when, when I was a kid, right, I used to be in the scout and I remember this match when we went for our own match pass. In the bus, they gave us hot cocoa with, with small bread and you were supposed to eat the whole cocoa, the hot one, just eat it quick because you're a scout. Training you like a soldier, so you eat it quick, eat the bread, and then you go and match. It was good. Did it work? It kind of worked because you know, you gave you the energy, but still the sun would blast in your face and the rest. But once you have something in your tummy, the it sun helps. is... It helps. So, is that all you have for the six months? No! Then there's, there's other news attached to... to so, so, military men... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Gymnastics. <laughs> oh, God. They were supposed to pass through some hoops, blazing fire around. Mm-hmm. And it didn't work. What what? I, I think he got burnt oh, in my that process. God. So, I, I'm thinking to myself... Wait, hold on. So they put fire around, around the, the and they're supposed to jump like, in, in, in through the it. Hub, yes. And then they go, wait, did they didn't rehearse, they didn't practice? Of course they did. And you said soldiers? Yeah, military men. Okay, so if okay, so military men that have been practicing the same stunt over and over, they couldn't get it. Yes. How are they gonna you know fight on our behalf when we enter the third world war? And it's not even that, like the Olympics, if this military man. But who use military man at Olympics? We no, have no, sportsmen. No, who do this. if I know, uh-huh. I know. But if a military man, like with all the training, couldn't do this, are civilians? See, military men, they be eating banku and kinky and the rest. They are heavy. They are, they are they job. I'm not, I'm not part listen. of this combo. No, their job is not to be jumping through hoops. Their job is to carry gun and to fight. They are fighting men. No but, hoop jumping But men. they have ranks, you know, they have ranks. So a rank is you. supposed to jump through hoop. It's part of it, I think. It's part of it. <laughs> no, 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 no. See. For the entertainment side, the military is not all about warfare. Entertainment as well. Ah, so you know they have a, you, know, gonna, you know they have a band. Oh yeah, they have a band. Oh, no, band. For the for the leisure side. Band has always been important when it comes to going to war and the rest. It kinda gives morale. You know, it builds its camaraderie spirit among the So you're talking the about Jama. That's Jama you're That's, talking the about. The band is there too. The live, they have their live band. It's setting. part of it. Trust me, it's part of it. Well, it's part of it. But I think I, it's important. I don't think so just jumping through. I don't care what stunts they do, but I, that is like saying a whole soldier to be jumping through. So mistakes are allowed. That is not his profession. That's not what he's paid to do. So therefore, I'm he's, sorry. Tra- he's been training. I'm sorry he got hurt, but I, I, I will support him. I will back him up and say that mistakes happen. He's not Olympics gym, gymnast or whatever, so he can make a mistake. And then Ghanaians too are on, on them. They are yeah, passing them for yeah. making a mistake. On, and, the, 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 on the, the socials. Like. See, this is why I love social media. People can just go there, hide behind comments and just be making fun of people. You get it, but they should go and say this in front of the soldier who got burnt jumping through hoop, <laughs> and then they will know. He tried. Though. I think he tried. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gigi, right? On social media, police has released a statement. You know this whole uh, uh, what's the name of this van? Uh, this van. That the bullion van. The bullion van that has been robbed. You know the robbery going on, bullion vans and everything. Some happened at North Kandeshi and the rest. So the police is saying that they have two suspects. And it's none other but two yeah. of their own. their own. Yes. Two policemen who have been arrested, they've not released their names, but apparently they, they messed up, they mixed up with a bunch of civilians and they formed a gang and they were robbing. So now police has them. You have to fear Ghana police. The investigation they did, it wasn't just normal level. So these two policemen in EBC came from the highest level. They did the investigation and now they this new IDP man, he is working super Robocop. I like it. It's cool. Bullying of fun. Hmm, it's not easy. Well, this story kind of hits home. Mm. Because the, the policeman that died at Colin, mm. his brother is a taxi, he owns a taxi and 
he looks so much like the young man that died, the young he police. He look, oh, so if you see, he's just a little bit lighter. Mm. And from what the taxi drivers have been saying at the rank, he was the breadwinner. Okay. So, yeah, of the family. So every time I see that taxi driver, I go like, oh man, just a few months ago, your brother was alive, now he's he's gone. Ah. So, I, IGP, your man. Like, you know what? It, it, it makes you wonder if the police that's supposed to protect you are actually turning around. Who do we tend to? Who do we tend to? It doesn't sit right. It's crazy. So they, they go give information of bullion ban and everything. Like maybe the movement, I don't know, but I'm thinking they, they, they give like the they time. They give the routes yeah. and planning and all that. Like they did in that movie. I don't know if you've seen it. One Jason Statham movie like that. But I've seen it. Oh, man. But it's crazy. That's a brutal. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is Africa. Ah, but yeah. they've been doing robberies so They've been doing it successfully. They've had at least, I can say, three successful the robberies. Vans. The bullion vans. And that the policeman that died was part of the success that they did, you know? Anyway, in other news, right? So, Ghanaians are going crazy because... No, Ghanaians are pissed. Let me put it that way. They are pissed off that Haji Abintu gets verified on Twitter. You ask me, why do I want to talk about Haji Abintu? Yeah, I actually... I don't even know what she does. Same here. <laughs> I think she um, does endorsements for people, like they give projects. That's what I think. I don't follow her. But that is not really. Is that a job, job? But now. No, this Ghana is like if you have nice, you know, something behind you. Carry your mm, pictures. People, you get followers. It's crazy. I don't understand it. No, but she works. You you think it's not a job, but people think it's a job for you to get products to market out. It's a job. Like but, it's advertisement. But how so, how did she get to the point where she's advertising the products? So you're saying the body took care of there. It's the back. Look, see, this company, we need to get very proud on Twitter. So Gigi, mm, don't you have to be dancing on Twitter. No. <laughs> you know that. I don't have that. I don't so have that. If they pay page. you 5,000 cities a month to just be dancing on Twitter. So all you have to do is dance on Twitter. So we get very proud. You will do for, it. For, for VCM or one for myself. For the team. One for the ah. team. You will do it. I'll think about it. Anyway, that's cool. Please think about it. So, Ghanaians are wondering that why would Twitter, and even I'm wondering, wow, what do you, I mean, what does it take to get verified on Twitter? That's the question Ghanaians are asking. They say, they are saying Nash over everything. <laughs> that's a new movement. Are you? Oh, no, no. See that we have small Nash. Huh? I, I, I really don't know what she does. I really don't know. Makes me wonder. Maybe there's other businesses that she's doing we don't know, so... I mean, from Could the verification and the fame, because fame will come with a lot of money and opportunity. So from there, if she has businesses now, then it's from what she's been doing. Ah. Anyway, so we all turn social media influencers to Or you, you don't think I'll get verified? You will. How? I don't have it behind. I don't have anything behind me. Uh, uh, what? We'll think about something for you to do. <laughs> So that's what's trending. Yep. Uh, Gigi, you got something to say? You don't have anything. Really? You don't have anything to say? Like, comment, share, my people. Like, comment, share. Yeah. Subscribe. All right. Subscribe. All right. Please do. All right. And uh, check the description for more detailed information on what we talked about. We'll see you on the flip side. God bless you. See you tomorrow.